Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. So this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Moon and as well rising uh, weekly general tarot readings for the upcoming week and uh, as weekly readings indeed uh, they are going to show the energies, the collective energies and as well the potentials the two Taurus uh, can unfold should you choose though if you decide that you know there is a better way for you by all means do whatever you feel uh, is uh, best for you now that being said, the first reading that I'm going to uh, make for you guys is going to be the uh, love and relationship and the first card we do have in that regard is going to be the Emperor. Uh, moving next we have the Knight of Swords uh, followed by the Queen of Wands and the last one here uh, that will be uh, the Empress. So obviously we do have two people involved here that is to be the Knight of Swords and the King of Wands. And this week, uh, you aside, instead of looking to the things emotionally, you are to look at the things and at the situation practically. Now, those two people could be a love triangle. They could be, for example, um, that you have to look into between uh, your your child and your wife, or your child and your husband, you know, or it could be a member, a, a family member and your beloved one, etc, etc. Now, uh, one is um, standing detrimental to your love life, the other one is standing positive to your love life. Um, so, long story short here, uh, the week itself uh, is going to be where you Taurus have to pretty much choose in favor of the stability and reliability. Um, of uh, in favor of the person who can make your uh, who can balance your love life rather than making it how can I say fluctuate fluctuating um, you may you have to according to those cards you have to decide in favor of the person that makes uh, you see the ups and downs that you are to face in terms of love life much more uh, bearable uh, than uh, than before. So how those things stand, I'm going to look at them, how those two people stand, I'm going to look at them as if it is a love triangle. Because like I said, the, uh, the versions or rather like the uh, type of the situations that these two people may, uh, may appear is uh, pretty much countless. So if it is a love triangle, we do have two people that are interested in you. Okay, so one which is the Knight of Swords. Well, Knight of Swords sitting into this second position, they are pretty much interested into your body. They are not interested into your soul. They are not interested into your love. They are not interested in generally into anything but to get into your pants. Simple as that. King of Wands, on the other hand, sitting on the third position. Well, he sees you as a as a challenge. Okay, something that they would love to to overcome or to conquer it is the right word but not in the bad way okay this isn't something like a one night stand taking like take it like that person sees you as a uh, as an equal or even more than just an equal and they just want to, to to make the things happen for them that is a challenge you know to make the things work in between you and them as well uh, one thing is important here to be acknowledged it is that the King of Wands, uh, at least at that stage, doesn't settle for just a relationship. They don't settle for a cozy and homey life. They do want enterprises. They do want dynamic, okay? They do want 
things to uh, unfold and unravel as the time goes. They, in other words, just getting together, it's merely the beginning for them rather than the end of the line, as if it is for a most people around. King of Wands, how you're going to recognize that person? Well, they are very, um, how can I say, they are not careful. Oh my God, the word just jumped out of my head cheerful okay so they are very cheerful and they always are capable to lift up one's mood okay they their resolve is pretty big and uh, they always are capable regardless of what kind of a situation you're finding yourself at they're always capable to maintain your good mood while the knight of swords the person that is de detrimental to your love they are just uh, a very convincing people they are very uh, they know how to talk they know how to put words and they are pretty much um, I cannot say twisting and bending the truth, but more like withholding an information so they can align the facts the way they like the facts to be, okay? Uh, and so the end of the week ends where you have to make a decision here with the queen, with the Empress card in terms of your love life, which one you are going to side with, okay? That could be uh, a siding with a family member rather than with your wife, for example. That could be siding with your child instead of your husband, say, or siding with your friend instead of your um, person of interest. Now, who is who, you get to, uh, you get to identify based on your personal situation but at the end of the week it will be difficult for you although i told you how the uh, the how the character stands and what is their um how can i say stand out traits in terms of you recognizing them you still are not going to be exactly sure which is which and there at the end of the week uh you are to experience something like a withdrawal symptom in the sense of that you will um feel the need to just, you know, walk away from that midst of activity, from that battle in between these two individuals in terms of your love life. Have a peaceful and quiet place so you can gather your thoughts because you alone are going to recognize that this decision is a big one. I mean, it's and it needs to be made in a well-balanced fashion and also maturity needs to be a virtue here instead of impulsiveness and emotion uh, and uh, where the emotion takes uh, takes over and for that reason uh, like I said the week needs to be where you need to aim and stray for reliability consistency stability structure rather than excitement okay that's that's what the reading says but again like I said at the start if you think that that's not true for you and you don't want that kind of a life for you for your love for your love life by all means do whatever you feel is uh, is best for you so that was your uh, love tarot reading, Taurus. Uh, next one is going to be your career. So let's see what uh, the cards has in store for you in terms of career. Right, so the first card in terms of career, we do have the Nine of Cups. Moving next, that is to be the Five of Swords, followed by the Four of Wands. And the last one, uh, that will be the uh, Two of Swords. So career-wise, the only uh, negative aspect that we can see here uh, is the Five of Swords sitting on the second position. And... Um, uh, that does depend how touchy you are and how personal you do take critic. For uh, with the five of swords there, uh, it does look like that uh, those that are to assess you, like, uh, you know, a client of yours, for example, in a private business or your supervisor or your boss, they're not going to be very polite. They're not going to be very gentle with their expression. If And if should they criticize you, 
it's very likely that you may feel humiliated from it. Another thing from the Five of Swords there into the second position is that some of you may exceed their limits, meaning that you can, uh, you can try to undertake something that it is far above your pay grade, not because you are incapable, not because you lack knowledge, but because there are boundaries that you don't have. For example, you need, you need approvals that you're not gonna get, okay? You need connections that you don't have, and etc., etc. Uh, and that is the only uh, negative thing that we can say about, or unpleasant, I should say, about uh, your career. Uh, apart from that, it seems that you are to be rather in a very, um, how can I say, um, wishful place maybe as we do have the nine of cups here into the first position well pretty much the card points that you're going to be quite happy of how the situation unravels for you in terms of career for the upcoming week there are to be some uh, achievements that you're going to be quite pleased to accomplish as well uh, but with the nine of cups uh, the the trade there is that you need to uh, put the necessary work in order to maintain those achievements otherwise they are to be um they are to succumb to the past and being forgotten unless you do not make sure that people remember you for your deeds moving forward into the future. So in other words, as you do accomplish some kind of a, 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 of a um, triumph, okay, and some kind of uh, happiness there, you need to make sure that that happiness is going to be a long-lasting one rather than a short-term one. Apart from that, should you be serious about your projects, throughout the week, you definitely can accomplish great stuff there. That is shown here by the four of ones into the third position of the spread pointing that should you aim to, you can definitely finalize a um, uh, finalize in reaching a milestones for throughout the week, like finalizing important plans, like uh, accomplishing uh, certain projects. But this card does not refer to the grand scheme of things. So the work is far from done. But that being said, you are to be like reaching a, a checkpoint, okay? That checkpoint that nothing can bounce you back from it at the starting uh, at the starting point. Having your client secure, like said, you know, or your job taken uh, by you, that is, you know, your promotion secure and etc. etc. That is, if you do stray for that, and in order to do so, like said, you need to do those. Uh, you need to. Um... Oh my God. Well, like I said, you know, the, that, the, that will be based on certain accomplishments of yours and you need to make sure that those accomplishments are to be remembered and are to be maintained uh, from you. And at the end of the week, what we do have here, it is the Two of Swords. Now that card, first of all, it points that you are to be rather in a peaceful position. So everybody will mind their business and nobody will interfere with yours. Everything will hang on a precious equilibrium and that will be a time of waiting. So if you do need some approvals, if you do need some, um, how can I say, a, a decisions to be made, say from your client, from your supervisor or from your boss, don't press the, uh, don't pressure the people around because whatever needs to be decided at that time by the end of this week, uh, it will be a bit obscured at the start, but as time progresses, the uh, right decision will become obvious to your boss, to your uh, to your client, etc., etc. And just to give you an example, say uh, you are waiting for uh, to be announced for a promotion. Let's say you ask your boss, and he's. He, he, te he tells you that uh, he doesn't know yet, you know, he needs to think about it, just don't pressure it, okay? Just leave him to think about it, for the guy is going to make the right decision with time, okay? Time needs to tell. Meanwhile, you need to keep up with the performance, transform that short-term success into a long-lasting one, right? By a finalizing an important cycles of development. Uh, those that are looking for a job, um, they will have a chance to start a job throughout the week, but this job is just going to be a temporary one. They can use it as a milestone once again to uh, step on it and use that time while they are working, looking for a more suitable, uh, more suitable job. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly general tarot readings, guys, in terms of a love and career. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.